line for the second event they're off and even start being out running the early stages that's running slow as they go toward the half mile pole it's Cyclone setting the fraction snappy ones in the early stages a length and the piece ahead of Zephyr moving second just on the heels of Zephyr that's Alma Tack racing up third five legs back to the exterminator he's got work to do behind him that's Precious Princess a huge margin of some five lengths toward improving GGB then running slow and at the back it is Moidai Pal five sixteenth remaining Cyclone out in front looking to have stolen the show all of five lengths ahead of Alma Tack taking the bend wide but they're in the stretch leaving the quarter pole and it is Cyclone still onto the hand ride the wider changing his hold and calling for the right hand stick Alma Tack is drifting right toward the stands the exterminator is toward mid course but looks to have too much to do they all have too much to do as Cyclone is not shortening in the final 16 Cyclone keeps going onto the right hand stick a quick look behind the rider sees no danger as he puts it away and eases Cyclone down as they take it by all of six lengths the exterminator is second third goes to Alma Tack looking them over. They're off. How the big one moves up quickly to the street you really need along with Barrett pulling alongside as they go past the seat. Toward the outside that's the great tricky meeting between what is a likely secret and a memory lane along with Teddy Traveller moving with and that comes give me a break and sunny south but the field packed in tight just five lengths separating them all as they head away now toward the half mile per likely secret between horses showing just by ahead as they're about to enter the turn toward the outside that's a memory lane there goes a steady traveler Braddock is right there too and it is Braddock now who hits the front leaving the 716 steady traveler a length and a half on the outside right with him that's likely secret closest to the rail two lengths back to memory lane left behind into fifth fourth spot sunny south is next on the outside of those I am the big one behind them that's toward the outside a tricky Nicky and a give me a break over on the rail but they've turned for home it is Braddock with the lead they've got to catch him the rider puts the stick in the left hand and Braddock has a five to six length advantage steady traveler not making any impression likely secret now beginning to progress but only mildly they're in the last eight and it's Braddock he's powering right away and pouring it on inside the final 16 the rider keeps wailing away with the right hand stick he has a look behind he's actually easing him down and Braddock wins it easily likely secret is second third to sunny south fourth to tricky Nicky steady traveler and give me a break rushing by they're off favorite most wild against the Liat along with Tickaboo. Toward the outside red sky rocket grabs the hold of the lead quickly from a tick tac jack jack the ripper rushing through. Susan Kaner is right there on the rail just a length and a half off the lead. A relegating tick tac jack there to fourth. Lunch time running on the outside of Triddle May Bump. There goes Miss Wild again weaving a path between horses. Fine boy and a summer traveler racing up together. Some two lengths back to a super slew and laughing time. Tailing off at the back. Some fifteen lengths off the leader. That's a Tikaboo as they go rushing into the turn. Coming up now toward the seven sixteen marker with toward the outside tick tap dap now getting to that lead and opening up two lengths being chased by a red sky rocket Susie Kenner is there Miss Wild again the favorite making steady progress toward the outside too that's a two me buck Jack the Ripper is left down on the rail summer traveler now put to the stick and ask for more as they've turned for home at the top of the lane with the leader continuing to be tick tap dap and going right away over on the rail that red sky rocket and fine boy right against it toward the outside Susie Kena, Miss Wild again looking quite sluggish in the final stages, but Tic Tac Dak is powering right away and will run on an easy winner inside the last 16th. A couple of looks behind the rider, sees no danger, puts away the stick, he's waving to us in the crowd, and a Tic Tac Dak robs this by six lengths of a fine boy. Nine furlongs and 25 yards the distance. They're off. An even start, Don Dada pulls quickly to get the early lead, taken on already by Old Timer, Northern Road is running five wide, toward his inside that's return with cash, between horses a rough rider, and just at the back it's Prince George, but they're running a compact group, leaving the mile power, they're running the clubhouse turn, with rough rider showing up just by ahead, return with cash on his outside, and return with cash now tags his rider, as they get a slim lead, beginning to go on now by a length, leaving the seventh furlong marker, from a rough rider right there, and on the hunt once again, Northern 
road is there into third spot. Don Dada has been restrained some four lengths off the lead. Old Timer toward his outside a half a length away. And it is Prince George just trailing some five lengths separating them all. As they go down the back stretch, five and a half furlongs remaining, with the Rough Riders showing just by ahead. Return with cash pulling alongside. There goes Northern Road Riders to wall. Toward the rail, that's Prince George searching for room against it. Old Timer toward the outside and Don Dada left just at the back, but it's still a wide open contest as they move by the half mile pearl. Rough Rider on the rail. There goes a Northern Road now between horses. He lips to hold on to a slim lead. Taken on already by Old Timer and Old Timer sticks the head in front of a Northern Road. Two and a half legs back to Rough Rider. Don Dada is being asked to quick and Prince George is slipping right there on the wheel and finding room a long gap to the trailer. Return with cash to left for 516. Old Timer on the outside. Northern Road saving ground all the time as they turn for home and Northern Road looks to have the lead as they head away toward the 316th pole. Prince George is over on the rail. Old Timer is three wide. Behind them rough wider looking one pace. Don Dada left out of it. Return with cash at the back but they're in the last ten. And Prince George has worked himself to the lead from Northern Road and Old Timer in the last 16th. It is Prince George beginning to slip right off from Northern Road. Prince George will win it easily. Rod Costa standing up. The crowd roaring at him as he has taken four winners. Northern Road is second. Third to Old Timer. Don Dada is fourth at the back. The field in line for the Caymanis Spring Cup. They're off. An even start. Lady Savina showing good speed on the rail. Toward the outside cross. Os Chessboard is right up with the leaders. The pacemaker on their heels. Jamax now moving down toward the outside to take them on as they leave the half mile pearl and run the turn. Lady Sofina proves very brave, showing on that lead by a length from Jamax moving second. A length and a half back to Chrysos put to the stick and beginning to fade. There goes the grave of Viscount on the outside of Chessboard. The pacemaker is next, just ahead of traditional. And toward the back of the field, Ed Spinnaker as they come into the final part of the turn. And it is again Lady Sofina who leads them into the stretch. Jamax trying hard to peg her back. Over on the rail, that's a crisis. The pace maker is left back towards center course. The Viscount is on the extreme outside an eighth of a mile to go. It's Lady Savina fighting them all off. Chrysos is over on the rail. Jamax and the pace maker running shoulders in the last 16th. Lady Savina, a much improved performance here. Here comes the pace maker with a late charge. The wires up the pace maker and Lady Savina have gone by together. 